in terms of like that the personalization aspect um i'm curious like what you think are the biggest opportunities with gen AI, gen ai to further optimize or further personalize that content for folks i think building on the the recommendation piece i think what's really exciting with the unlock is it's not just you know how do you merchandise you know the existing content and kind of bring um, the right titles to the right person based on their their interests. But it's also how is that content packaged at all? So you know with with Big Fox, you know we we largely like a linear broadcast network. Mm -hmm. You know, you're watching largely live, you know, we're really optimized around live programming. Uh, but I think what we see with, with the way that you know different audiences are engaging with content, they might not always be watching live on television. Or you might be watching live, but you come into the game late, you know. And so I think one thing we're able to do now is use AI to actually like repackage that content so we can reach you. Even if you're not going to watch the whole episode, we can give you the five best moments. Mm. Or if you join the game 15 minutes late, it's 17-4 or 14-7, and you're wondering what happened? Like, how did I, I want to be able to have, feel invested in this game moving forward, but I want to understand like why my team's down. You can catch up with highlights and we can li like live dynamically with AI produce that highlight reel of what happened so far. So now you can jump into that game with confidence. Or, you know, we, we launched with Fox One a concept of shorts, which is an entirely AI pipeline that re repackages all of our linear content into vertical short form content with with headlines and it merchandise into playlists based on kind of this semantic similarity, so, which is, again, meant to me to reach people who maybe they really want to follow a certain topic really mm -hmm. closely or they want to understand, you know, what were the biggest comebacks from this weekend? You know, where, again, it's like these these are conceptual ideas. They're not necessarily like title driven or talent driven or programming driven. They're, again, with the LLMs, you can really reason across the content and create these more dynamic sense of a playlist um, where it's not just you like this, you might like that, as Nicole mentioned. But it's like one step deeper into like the, the guts of the content, like maybe a key moment from the game was actually not a play um, like a, it wasn't a touchdown. It was actually when uh, the wide receiver like threw his helmet down on the ground afterwards and that moment went viral. Right. And so I think that's the that's the next phase. I think that's really exciting. It's, it's not just how you merchandise existing content and bring the most relevant stuff to consumers, but how do you actually cut, repackage, reshape that that content? And then how do you enrich it to, to bring entirely new consumer experiences? So even like on search now, you can, you can get short form content, but you'll also get like search results that are enriched with perplexity. 